since the coronavirus outbreak, experts have maintained that outdoor exercise is definitely necessary for all of us to stay healthy. But since the pandemic started, the state of California has shut down playgrounds. And while that may have been fine at the start, parents are wondering why they remain closed. News 8's Tim Blodgett tells us that answer and why that answer is still up in the air. While the city is slowly but surely opening things back up for the public, playgrounds remain closed. And that's drawn the ire of parents and kids alike. For months, some of the swings and slides at Mission Bay Playground have been surrounded by orange fences and signs warning parents that the playground is closed. But in other parts of the playground, the parts with no orange fences. I really like the jungle gym and it's a good one. Parents like Ross Fulton let their kids roam free on the equipment. It just doesn't make sense because for what we know about uh, coronavirus, again, it, and what at least what I've read is, you know, there's no reason that a playground should be particularly high risk compared to other outdoor activities like going to the beach or other places where you see large gatherings of people. News 8 has received several emails from parents wanting to know why the city has chosen to open parks, beaches, and some indoor activities with limited capacity, but have kept playgrounds off limits. We asked the city's Parks and Rec Department that very question, and this is their response. Currently, there is no timeline to open the city's playgrounds, and at this time, there is no target date. Though that statement might seem frustrating to some parents, it's important to remember that the city of San Diego takes its reopening cues from a state level. As counties get their coronavirus numbers under control, the state allows them to open up with fewer restrictions. However, the state's most recent COVID guidance document makes little mentions of playgrounds and lumps them in with pavilions and other places where groups can gather, but those are open in San Diego while playgrounds remain closed. Um, I'm just playing at playgrounds. But in the meantime, parents are choosing to abide or ignore the orange fence. We definitely miss the playgrounds and looking forward to them opening up. May have made sense in February or March when we knew less about coronavirus. Tim Blodgett, News 8. And local state assemblywoman Lorena Gonzalez is pushing Governor Newsom to reopen playgrounds. Yesterday, she sent a letter to the governor saying in part, I write to you to ask you to issue guidance specifically on the reopening of playgrounds before the resumption of normal operations. Playgrounds like those in community parks provide a critical resource for children and families to access outdoor space, exercise and relax. Governor Newsom has not yet responded.